If you want to go crazy in St. Petersburg, you can come to the parking lot of a multi-purpose hall in the evening. Artur is also there, one of the most famous autoposers of the city. We want to tell you a story that happened to my friend here, but you have to introduce yourself first. How? <laughs> Just use your first name. That does it. My name is Victor and this is my car, a Mercedes GL500. The Benz and the accompanying Instagram video are the pride and joy of the two. A 360 degree turn, and in an SUV. The drift is one thing, the spectacular consequence is the other. <laughs> A great video. You rarely see the likes of it. It was even shown on the news. And on the internet, it went through the roof. At least in Russia. A rim without tires. Artur has a very successful Instagram blog. Today, frying oil on tires is supposed to ensure perfect pictures. No one's ever done a full turn in an SUV before. Many are afraid to roll over, but anything for a good video. Not afraid the car will tip over? No. And if it does, it's a real shock video that's gonna blow up on YouTube and Instagram. Do not roll over. That's all I want. Look out. There are people up ahead. Dear viewers, the parking lot is now free. The passers-by will be gone soon and then we'll be ready to go. The recordings are streamed live on the net, for a brief moment of fame on the internet. Everybody aside. That's really incredible. And the first female spectators are already at the start. Nice cars, the drift is great. The riders are really strong and certainly really good looking. The frying oil makes the Mercedes start to slide as desired. Great, looks very impressive. Stop, stop, stop. A great fun also for the future offspring. Great, in five years, I'm gonna get a car and practice that too. To really get going. What is your dream car? Lamborghini, Ferrari. So a fast car anyway. Why? I like speed. It worked, didn't it? Yeah, at one point, you did a great job. It's really good that you did that. And that all during a live broadcast for 500 viewers. Let's smile for our fans. Regards to all. Attention is the hardest currency in social networks. So why not convert a used Bentley Continental into an off-road tracked vehicle? The idea came from the slightly crazy screwdrivers of the YouTube channel, Akadine G. It doesn't really make sense. But in this senselessness it is ideal because a comfortable car is pleasant to drive despite the change. A cheap car would also work but would be more uncomfortable. Here's a combination that only the rich can afford. But getting into the former luxury car remains difficult even for the rich. To make sure that the doors can be opened at all, they were stripped off at the bottom. The original 12-cylinder engine also had to go. A Toyota V8 engine came under the hood for this. And instead of tires, the tuners mounted a standard Caterpillar track. Ready was the transformation of the Bentley into a Russian Ultra Tank. However, the shunting is correspondingly complicated. On a straight stretch of road, the Mad Max vehicle now reaches 100 km per hour. More is not possible at present. I don't know what it was like for you. I really enjoyed it. And that's what these test drives are for. The screwdrivers spent nine months tinkering with the conversion. Pioneering spirit was and is still in demand. At some point the chain jumped out, but then it snapped back in by itself. However, it is unclear how the car will react if it lifts off the ground while driving. What happens then? After a short pit stop, the second test lap will start. 
The pride of the developer speaks from Konstantin Saruskic. Let's go. We have left the interior in its original condition. That is our philosophy. So that everyone who gets in here knows how to do it immediately. Now the accelerator. And when I turn the steering wheel, it jumps back automatically. You do not have to pull the steering gear back and forth like in a tank. It's just an ordinary car. Or just a not quite normal tank. Now the tuners are mainly working on the better off-road capability of the vehicle. <laughs> Apparently the Bentley still has some catching up to do. Nevertheless, the hobby engineers have ambitious plans, the self-built tank should become an export hit. The sales platform is its own YouTube channel, with more than 4 million subscribers. On our channel people can get in touch by email. We have already talked with some interested parties about a possible purchase, prices and completion dates. They come from the USA, Canada and the Arab Emirates. An English car with a Japanese engine and Russian chains, sold to the Arab Emirates, a more extreme form of globalization is hardly imaginable, provided that the breakdown statistics of the Ultra Tank remain in order. Let's move while the going's good. Does it look bad? No, everything's great. He'll still be driving. Apparently there's something wrong with the cooling system. Maybe she got some. There's liquid pouring out of it. The Bentley has had its day. It goes with the trailer back to the workshop. Before that, a few snapshots are taken for the virtual photo album. Shares and likes are the best PR. I'm turning it on and recording it now. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for following my blog. Akadine G and its supporters regularly post the videos online, and so it is today. I was never taught how to use this thing properly. The latest episode about the Panzer Bentley is almost finished. That's almost 15 minutes of footage. Thanks a lot and see you next time. The idea with the conversion is part of a larger strategy. My YouTube channel is an answer to the question, what happens if? So, what happens if we pair an SUV with a truck? Or install a fast engine in a military off-road vehicle? How do you prepare such a truck for such high speeds? How can you turn something ordinary into something quite extraordinary, which really nobody expects? One of the most clicked videos of the platform is called ZIL vs Porsche. The challenge was to really spruce up the old garbage truck from Soviet times. To achieve this, the tinkerers first removed the 150 horsepower engine and found a replacement in a fast car, a BMW X5 with 600 horsepower. The German sports car was literally slaughtered. Engine, transmission, steering wheel, everything for the old rattletrap. In one race, of course, the rattletrap won. In other words, the Russian state-owned garbage truck. Capitalism, defeated. But a drop of bitterness remained. Things are going better in Germany than here. That is annoying. It's all about the revenue, about the money you get not only for product placement, but also for the click-throughs. If we in Russia with a video have a million clicks, it brings about $400. In Germany you can get between 3 and 5,000 euros for this. If I had produced such videos in Germany, I would be really rich and could have driven Lamborghini or Ferrari long ago. And would think twice about whether I really needed to meet a TV crew like you. Tuning, speeding, having fun. Everything could be so simple if it weren't for the highway code. Autoposer Artur has made provision for the worst case scenario. The trick with the magnetic number plates is very common in our country. 
If you need it, you leave it on. If you don't, just take them off. There are several reasons for this. I can't reveal them here in public. Without the license plate, they can't prove anything. And I think that a car without a number plate also looks much more beautiful and stylish. Like it just rolled off the assembly line. And without a license plate it simply drives more uninhibited. As a little taste, Artur serves a so-called donut. And once the action is in the can, it goes into your Instagram account. Wooing for as many followers as possible has left its mark. At Artur and his friends, in the form of worn tires. This is from four days ago. Is that a lot or a little? A little. This can quickly become more. The men works for a tuning company that regularly sponsors our tour with new tire sets. These things don't age. The sporty driving style alone makes sure of that. I just showed you the so-called donuts. Now I'll demonstrate checkers. Why is it called that? Because they're the white and black tiles may not be moved straight ahead, but always diagonally right or left. And that's exactly how you maneuver in traffic between the other cars. It looks very nice and you feel cool. That is why this way of driving is very popular with younger people, and not only with them. One hundred and thirty things at sixty permitted in town. Nevertheless, Artur never had to hand in his driving license. In the Shiska bar, the speeders take their foot off the accelerator for a moment. Relax with a water pipe. But you can't do without thrill here either. Video study of the own Instagram channel. This is, so you have your bongo. I made a video a year ago. I had only 7,000 followers then. The video went completely through the roof in the social networks, it was a sensation and in the end even ended up in the television news. Why? Because we simply put a police blue light on the Mercedes. Meanwhile, his channel has more than 140,000 subscribers. Also today Arthur and his friends pose, so that the supply of fresh videos does not run out. With pleasure, with the insignia of German automobile art. Such cars are very popular in Russia because they are expensive and because there are not so many of them here. You look tough and very manly. This design has been around for 30 years, and it makes all men feel stronger. Does it make you feel more confident? <laughs> I feel like I always do. <laughs> the monster Mercedes from the upper class, obviously the perfect car. When you drive a car like that, everyone looks at you with respect. It is known that criminals also drive such cars. With the Mercedes from the Swabian area it goes then into the St. Petersburg city. In the usual zigzag course, and a generous interpretation of the traffic rules. No time is wasted looking for a parking space. Space is finally available at the smallest crossing. Maybe we got lucky. Perhaps we have chosen the right path? You think that everything was correct? Sure. But wait. I forgot something. Parking didn't work out so well. That's always a problem. I'll be honest, I don't like it myself when you stand like that and block traffic. It doesn't take long for the first car spotters to come together. Fans who like to take nice photos of beautiful cars. Artur is a celebrity in the scene, just like his Mercedes AMG. The driver of this car attracts attention with his video content, 
I follow him enthusiastically on the internet and find everything great. His photos, his videos, what he does with the cars and how he changes them. These guys also pimp their car. It's easier to hear than to see. At the wheel, Rodislav Skebikin. We're bloggers, too, and just recording how people react to our fat music. We want to show how loud and high-quality music can sound in a car. You spend a lot of time in the car, and music is always part of the life of a driver. The crummy Opel Astra, from the inside a force. The installation takes about two weeks. That costs 400,000 rubles, or five and a half thousand euros. Money well spent on sound technology. For the perfect open-air concert, in the middle of the street, the only thing missing now is the disco fog. The police are not showing up today. Apparently, the happening on the street does not seem to bother anyone. He'll have to buy new tires now. What would it cost? Certainly more than 20,000 rubles, almost 300 euros for tires with such a tread. A certain audacity is important if you want to achieve something. Anyway, the people who have them make the most money. After 22 o'clock, loud music is actually forbidden on the streets of Russia. But what do you care about the laws if the authorities do not enforce them? The volume reaches 151 decibels. Some say it's bad for your hearing. But I cannot confirm that. The car is more likely to suffer from this, the fastenings of the trunk lid are quickly broken. Very strong vibrations are created, the pressure waves are enormous. This can be seen particularly clearly at this point. At 150 decibels, the Opel would be louder than a jet. Hard to bear with closed doors. Every day vlogger Rodislav drives along the magnificent mile of St. Petersburg. His motto, see and be heard. Of course, celebrity on the net is also important for Rodislav. He earns his living with the Instagram account. I really like the fact that people make cell phone videos and dance along. What more do you need to be happy? There are pedestrians who have paid for the madness on Russia's streets with their lives. Because ever since the center of St. Petersburg became a private racetrack for street racers, serious accidents have become more frequent. Several people have already been killed. Alexei Antoshkin was formerly head of the traffic police, responsible for the city center. This is the hub for all the autoposers in the country. From here many post their videos under the motto, look here, we are the coolest guys because we raced over the Nevsky Prospect at 120 km per hour. For many young people this is a matter of prestige. They think, I got a thousand likes for that video. I'm such a hero. The fact that people have died in the process is of no interest to anyone. No one, except the bereaved. Nuriya Baltacheva lost her sister-in-law in a tragic traffic accident in the summer of 2018. The crime scene, a boulevard in St. Petersburg City. The perpetrator, a reckless speed merchant. I feel so sorry for her. Her sister-in-law, Olga Baltachiwa was once a famous ballerina and popular dance teacher.
On the evening of her death, she is on foot, on her way home. I don't know how careless she was or at what time she ran into the street. She was actually green, but in the end it supposedly turned red. The speeder suddenly appeared and caught her. With fatal outcome. The next day she would have been 75 years old. At the wheel of the tuned Toyota Supra is Ivan Yarikin, an autoposer of the extreme kind. His Instagram account is brimming with PS. On the night of the accident, the dashcam of his companion is running. Ivan needs 8 seconds to get from 0 to 114 km per hour. Then the impact. His Toyota hits the victim. The Mercedes pulls over. In slow motion the speed rush of the two drivers becomes really clear. The former ballet dancer crossing the street that night had no chance. Even for an experienced traffic policeman like Alexei Antoshkin a shocking sight. The car stopped behind this crossing, here in the left lane, and the woman was lying 20 meters further ahead, her body was already covered. A role model of society, run over by a semi-strong car freak. They were totally cool, very sober. Actually, real golden boys, that is, young people who think they're better than us. Hip, modern guys. And frankly, I saw no pity in the eyes of the perpetrator. No remorse, his hands did not shake, he remained absolutely calm. Actually, you're not allowed to go faster than 60 in the city, but borders in Russia are probably there to be crossed. Whoever gains access to this garage belongs to the automotive high society in Moscow. She parks her exclusive cars here at the Oscar Club. The conditions could hardly be better. This garage is unique in all of Russia and Eastern Europe. We have a special facility here, just for microclimate. The air humidity is a constant 55%. The temperature at exactly 22 degrees. And it's all perfectly clean. Perfect storage conditions also for this vehicle the replica of a superhero mobile from the movie hit Batman vs Superman. When we brought the car 2018 to Russia, the first feeling was great. Now we saved the world, I am Batman now. But already after a few weeks the disillusionment came. I realized that I have to rebuild some things so that you can drive and shoot and maneuver like in the Batman movie. In the beginning, you could only drive in first gear, with a maximum of 30 kilometers per hour. This is the finest Alcantara art leather. And we put this steering wheel in, it's from a race car. I've always dreamed of a vehicle like this. Now at least I got the steering wheel. The doors I have equipped with an electric drive. Just like an S-Class and the way the Germans like it. The Russian Bruce Wayne is called Alishers, and allegedly makes his money with marketing. He put part of it into his dream car. He has a club employee prepare something special today. What? Remains unclear. Why are they taking the figures away? It's a secret. Two technicians also came. Responsible for the most important part of the vehicle, the cannon. This is oxygen and propane gas, so the cannon can shoot. We'll use a 1 in 10 mix. This mixture then explodes in the combustion chamber of the gun. A huge toy for very big children. Really loud and with fire. And then finally the time has come. The Batmobile goes for a little spin. But not in Gotham City, 
but in the outskirts of Moscow. Turn on all the lights, including laser and finally drive out. Not so easy at 6 meters long and 4 meters wide. For the cinema, the chases were filmed at a snail's pace of 20 kilometers an hour and only pimped with special effects afterwards. Everything today is supposed to be real. Now check the dosage again. It is not an easy process. Can we shoot off now? This is awesome. Our mission for today is complete. I'm very curious to see how it will be when we go and shoot right away. But first the 500 horsepower car is driven onto a trailer. If I smash the car, I can't very well punish myself. But if he does, he will be held accountable. It's a classic, right? The superhero vehicle is so wide that you can only drive it on selected roads. Therefore it is brought to its destination by trailer. In addition, utmost secrecy must be observed, because the skitter has not yet been approved by the Russian road traffic authorities. Around 1 o'clock at night Ali Schurz and his crew found the right place. So now we are finally driving off. We still have to fill up, drink coffee, eat croissants, going to the bathroom. And then we'll see. Let's go. Three million dollars have cost rebuilding and tuning. However, boarding is not comfortable. A UFO with wheels and bulletproof windows, secretly on its way in the Moscow night. A touch of Batman. Drives great. Ali Schur's last drove through St. Petersburg half a year ago. His biggest dream would be a joyride through Berlin and London. But today we only have to go to the next gas station. After all, even a Batmobile needs fuel. A Hollywood performance. <laughs> Look, he's really stunned. The gas station attendant takes a rather sober view. That's not a good position. The hose is not long enough. How much the car consumes, the owner would rather keep quiet about that. Apparently with good reason. What kind? 95 octane. How much fits in the tank? 40 liters. How long does that last? For a short drive. How short is that? About two hours. The gas guzzler is scheduled to be sold soon. There are allegedly three interested parties whose creditworthiness has already been checked. List price, almost $5 million. On the other hand, the monster can now also drive almost 100 kilometers per hour, provided the roads are wide enough. The man with the nickname Davidic lives on the 21st floor of the Triumph Palace. A luxury pad for a big player in the Autoposer League. This is an old award for my YouTube channel Smatra TV. It used to be for a hundred thousand subscribers, then for a million, but now I have four million subscribers. And here are a few other awards I have received in different countries and cities. This is from the Ukraine. One award for first place, the other is for second place. Again second place and this one is for first place in a helicopter competition. And this stone I brought from Lake Baikal. Davidik is a real star on YouTube. With his videos, he attracts the attention that every auto poser can only dream of. For him it is a constant search for new challenges. The more spectacular, the better the click rates. So far, everything has always gone well. So far. Folks, I'm so afraid to drive this SUV on the ice. 
Only those who have almost gone down before can understand me. You go out on the ice and everyone taunts you. You must be scared. How funny. But only you know what happens if you break in. Moments in which Davidic is his biggest fan and which, if he had his way, would last for a long time. It's not over for me yet. But you can't overdo it either. I'm still in the game. Just how much longer? You can't be in the lead all the time. All of us are aware of that. Only the love for the car remains forever, no matter what happens. When he's not admiring himself, he looks down on the city from his skyscraper. A city where even the competition doesn't sleep. PS Junkie Artur wants to give his popularity a new boost today. A video shoot of his girlfriend Paulina is coming up, she is also a car blogger. That's because my car fits the script, and I'm best suited for the role. The shoot will result in an absolutely successful video for both sides and will give both me and the girl even more followers. We've known each other for quite some time and I also believe that today's collaboration will be beneficial for both his blog and mine. Both our accounts are related to cars and therefore we fit together very well. The story of the video is quickly told. Pretty woman steals rich man's bad Mercedes. The target group is, you can already guess it, male. She looks attractive and has a fast sports car. What more does the viewer need? A pretty girl and a beautiful car. She brings everything with her. If she does everything right, she'll make something of herself. But it is important to have the right style. So she doesn't have to take her clothes off like the other girls who want to be Instagram stars. It's like an arms race between car model and photo model. The hairstyle is still in place, even after two hours of shooting. I chose a classic black outfit. With a small, erotic touch. That's what the pink wig is for. The original idea was to put on a balaclava, because when you steal a car, you'd rather not be recognized. But now I've changed my mind. It makes me look more attractive than if I were wearing a mask. Nearly 27,000 likes for the first photo on Instagram prove her right. The combination women and cars seems to work. After a few hours the video is finished and edited. It's not gonna win an Oscar, but give Artur the recognition he deserves. Back to the Decibel Junkies. It's filming for your own Instagram account again. A guy made me laugh today. He claimed that Putin had forbidden to drive through Russia and Europe with booming bass. We didn't believe him. We just keep going. This Jaguar can also keep up with the decibel values of a spinning chainsaw. And then? It's getting serious. For the reporter. We would like to invite you to our car for an experiment. We will show you what effect the sound waves have on you. You'll find it interesting. You have to know, there is no wind in St. Petersburg that night. At least not in the streets. It is in the car. A pit chick in a class of her own. It works like a hairdryer after a shower. How did you come up with that? The effect is well known. I have specially set up my music system so that my hair stands on end or other things can fly up. Like this napkin. A handkerchief as proof of a deafening performance show. Russia reloaded. In comparison, the horsepower of other road users looks as if it were from a previous century.